What's good YouTube? This is DJ Kicks here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, my weekly sneaker rotation, taking a quick look at the shoes that I decided to pull out for this week. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the sneakers. So first shoe here we have the Nike Epic React Flyknit. Uh, this is a very comfortable shoe. It's definitely one that I like to wear um, multiple times throughout the week, not only just once, but for Monday, I decided to pull these guys out. Uh, Monday is definitely one of my days where I'm all about comfort, and these things are phenomenally comfortable. Um, definitely have a great cushioning with this React material here. Um, definitely a good bounce back to these guys, and the fly knit uh, makes you feel like you know, you're know you basically wearing a sock. So uh, these guys are definitely a good choice here, so these are my pick for Monday. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these guys on feet. These are definitely a comfortable shoe, definitely very sleek, very good runner. Uh, let's go ahead and see what they look like on feet here. Tuesday I decided that it was going to be another comfort day so I actually pulled out one of these um, older uh, Nike runners here. Um, one of my favorite uh, models to be honest is the uh, Nike Free Run 2. Now this is just in the standard uh, blue colorway here. I'm not exactly sure what the exact color code is but we got a uh, lighter blue with a little bit of a darker blue hits here on the um, cage material netting um, it's, and then like I said got the light blue here on the actual netting itself. Uh, the Nike Free Run 2 is one of the most comfortable shoes ever. Um, it's got definitely that sock feel, um, pretty much like the Nike um, Epic React Flyknit does. Um, this doesn't have any Flyknit because Flyknit was not out when these were made, um, but it definitely is a comfortable shoe. Um, it it's actually features um, the first uh, free sole here as well. So that sole gives you a lot of um, comfortability when you're walking, running, whatever it may be. All about comfort there on a Tuesday again as well. All right, let's go ahead and take a look what these look like on feet for my Tuesday pick. Wednesday, I decided to uh, switch it up and get a pair of Air Maxes out into the out into the mix. Actually, went out to dinner on Wednesday night uh, for a family birthday, so wanted to put on something that had a little bit more style in it, and that is definitely um, it with this shoe here. It is the Air Max 90 Infrared. This is from I believe either the 2014 or 2015 release. So this is the newer um, release here. Uh, definitely a classic sneaker. Air Max 90 model is one of my favorite models. Um, super comfortable. Um, super easy to wear um, pretty much with anything. This definitely is one of the shoes that is a little bit more popping, especially with these infrared hits here. Um, got the infrared hits on the bottom, back, side, as well as the eyelets here, and then infrared on the tongue. Um, these definitely make a statement when you wear them, and definitely had to pull these out for you know going out on a little bit of a special occasion. So uh, these are my Wednesday picks, so let's go ahead and get into a little bit more of an own view of these guys, and then we'll be back.
Thursday's pick was definitely another comfortable uh, shoe pick for sure. Um, definitely like to uh, wear my comfortable shoes more throughout the work week uh, just because they're a little bit easier to wear, a little bit more comfortable for the day to day. And uh, my pick for Thursday ended up being the um, black, all black, um, and with white boost, ultra boost. Um, 1.0. So these are the original um, Ultra Boost that came out back in, I believe, 2016. Um, these actually don't feature the entire um, prime knit upper. They do have the prime knit on the toe, toe area, but here on the back is actually just a regular um, mesh material. So these are the 1.0s, the original guys, no continental rubber on the bottom of these guys. Uh, these are the original ones here, and this is the all black other way. This was my pick for Thursday. So let's go ahead and take a look what these guys look like on feet. These have not been out for a while, so I'm sure people um, haven't seen these in a while, but let's go ahead and take a look and see what these look like on feet. So Friday's pick was another uh, going to have to be a better pick uh, as far as it goes for styling because I did actually end up going out. Um, so I actually picked these up the day before on August 1st um, when they released. And that is, I'm sure you already know what that shoe is, but it is the Jordan 4 Cool Gray. Um, this is um, a shoe that I've already reviewed in my first video on the channel. Um, wore these the day after they released. Um, had to get these pretty much on the straight to feet. Uh, these are such a great shoe um, and haven't been out in so long. And it's something that some some shoe that I've been after for a while and then these have finally retroed. So had to pick these up, had to get these on my straight to feet. So let's go ahead and take a look with the, take a look what these guys look like on feet. For Saturday, I actually uh, wound up uh, going to PA for a birthday party for a family friend. Um, so was actually driving for a little bit. I live in Maryland, so PA is about an hour away. Um, so decided to go with a little bit more of a comfort for that drive and then also uh, for the party as well. So for Saturday, I actually went with the um, triple black uh, Nike Air Hirachi. This is from the release from, I believe, 2015 or 2016. Another classic Nike runner that is just super comfortable. Um, can really wear with anything and it is definitely one that you can wear all day long and have no problems with. So let's go ahead and take a look at the, what these guys look like on feet. I'm sure you already know, but we're going to go ahead and take, take a look anyway. weekend on Sunday I um, actually wound up going out of the house again so I wanted to put on something a little bit more stylish um, but keep it um, you know kind of in a summertime vibe um, so I actually went with the Jordan 1 Royal Low this is one that came out in I believe 2015 um, definitely no uh, heat or hype I would say with this sneaker it's definitely not the uh, the Royal One High um, but it's definitely a statement when you walk out there in the summertime with a low top Jordan 1 and, and the um, one of the original colorways of the Royal can't go wrong with that so let's go ahead and take a look and see what these guys look like on feet uh, definitely going to be a little bit different than what you guys are used to with the chop top here on the Royal One so speaking of Jordan 1 Lows we do have a uh, Jordan 1 Low releasing soon a UNC Low 1 Nike SB I'm not exactly sure the date. I believe it might be August 15th, but those are coming out. I'm actually going to try to scoop those up. Uh, definitely like the uh, UNC blue on those guys. Um, Jordan 1 lows are definitely easy to wear. Summertime shoes, so 
definitely going to be after that bear. But go ahead, let's let's go ahead and take a look and see what these guys are both off feet. And that's going to about do it here for this video. This has been my weekly sneaker rotation for this work week as well as the past weekend. I'll go ahead and try to find some links for some of these shoes um, that might still be available to put those in there for you guys if you want to try to scoop these up. But that is going to do it here for me. Make sure you go ahead and like this video, comment below, and then subscribe for more. And we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.